GG, he's back. He probably went AFK. Yeah, he muted himself. He's so. probably going sleepy bye. No, he muted himself, so he probably went to get something real quick. Everybody on the chat got kind of a little worried. You're like, wait, he went quiet. What did he do? Huh? He's back. Team 36. What does this do? Playing some Pokemans. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. Fuck that shit. Good God, no. Are you alright? <sighs> yeah, yeah he just went to the bathroom, apparently. Mm. E.G., you sound tired. You should go to bed. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> it's just that. Go, to, go buy some bread. No, was just concerned with all. <laughs> uh, really messed a code. Yes. I live back. Just take them. Take. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, EG, are you going to BronyCon too? Yes. Yes, I am. Yay! BronyCon! Are you going to Master Capone? Yes, Bernie King! He always goes to Bernie King! <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to it. Yeah. Not only this will be my this will be my first time going out of state by myself. <laughs> so it should be interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> But I'm definitely gonna be playing Cubbit, and if I haven't, and by the time I'm there, if I haven't beaten that stupid clown, uh, I'm still stuck! I'm still stuck fighting off the flippin' clown Jesus and Cuphead. Christ. Hmm. Well, at least at Bronycon, you get to see the ice cold water guy. Yes! Hi. I'm hearing so much from everybody here about him, like, okay, I might have to meet this guy. You got that ice cold water. <laughs> Is it the chicky doo 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 and I would not be surprised if I get my butt on. Oh. That's what if I- uh, I don't- dogs. Sorry, the dog's a barker. She can't help it. Let's see what Team 9 is. Okay, um, Derek, I'm talking about that dragon from Cuphead. Takedown? I don't know what that is. So yeah, oh. I'm on the I'm on the island where you have to face the dragon too. So I'm like, oh boy, I, I I'm gonna die a lot in that one too. Yeah. I'm gonna probably have a good. I'm gonna have a hard time just fighting that dragon, too. I'm already at struggling against the stupid clown! Ugh. What clown? Uh, you know the clown from Cuphead? Oh, right. Yeah, I still haven't beaten him yet. I'm stuck! I don't think he's too bad. I mean, he just wants to clown around. Master code, save the jokes for the clown. Oh. <laughs> Though I don't know what'll be the 
one that'll probably have a headache first. The dragon or the freaking robot? Hmm. Because apparently even Solar was frustrated over fighting the robot. Yes, finally. Prince Ali, ala banana, ala la prakta. What? Oh no. I was just... Yeah, he's drunk. Yep. <laughs> oh god. No, I actually I actually caught Silverco drunk last night. Are you serious? Slightly drunk. He was slightly <laughs> drunk. Still. Um, season? Bitch Pennywise are you talking about? P it penis wise. Oh my god. No, penny wise. No. No. No, E.G. Down. <laughs> you have to hit him with the newspaper. <laughs> Not a problem for me. This is how Jesus laughs in South Park. <laughs> I'm tail batting you on the head, E.G. Chill. <laughs> we don't take yeah. kindly to people don't take kindly to us. The town ain't big enough for the two of us. Oh, you're talking about the newer one. Wait, Matsuro, can you pull off that voice? What? The newer Pennywise? I haven't seen it, so... Oh, oh you just... have not! I just okay. watched it before. Actually, I just watched it before I, uh, before I went to Ever. Ooh, Creepy... so you got to see it. Uh, yeah. Creepy-ass movie. So good. It? It's... Perf yes, the new it. Yes. Yeah. He finally got to see it. My thoughts for that movie? Waha! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I got did it. Dory, I did watch the new one. I just had to say, I just had to do that. <laughs> From no, I I like both versions because both versions are hilarious. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you want Prince Albert in a can? Well, you better let the poor guy out! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Tim uh, Curry, uh, I love you, man! I first got oh. nice. N whoever opened the can, nice. <sighs> Yee! That was golden. Yes. He opened the cold one. Nice. But uh, I was gonna say, like, I'm. Uh, that was one of the that was one of the first this uh, nostalgic picture re reviews I watched, and uh, the original It movie. <laughs> That's what I got. The, the anime. series, yeah. Yeah. In fact, um, uh, I okay. I feel like this week's episode, Final Fantasy, uh, the Final Fantasy review. What was it called? Oh yeah, oh, the spirits, with, spirits within. That's my hey. last. That is my last nostalgic and critic review I watched because he included a joke that was poking fun of the no the Notre Dame. And... Oh my Oof! God. Wait, who did yeah. this? Really? Nostalgic critic, hey Doug Walker. Really, who? dude? Oh my God! Who fucking dude? <sighs> like, Okay, basically he was poking fun of a scene uh, from the from the fa Final Fantasy movie where where this uh, where the main villain, uh, which I think he was played by uh, James Woods, uh, he uh, he like weirdly says, "Where is the proof?" And then and then fucking a uh, uh, fucking soccer critic is like spending at least a five hour skit poking fun of the joke, uh, poking fun of that scene, but he replaces the word with a bunch of other. Uh, with a bunch of other words rhyme with, with rhyme with proof. When he showed a picture of the burnt Notre Dame Cathedral, he was like, where is the roof? And I was like, okay, fuck you. Way too soon. That was, that is not cool. We don't, that's not something you cross. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was way too soon. Just comes to show that Doug Walker has become a bigger broken pedestal. Mm -hmm. Yep. Change the fucking channel. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I want to get that out of my system because I, I I lost respect for that. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't blame you. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, speaking of um, Tim Curry, um, Venomous, mm. I, um, a while back I made both plushies of the newer and the original Pennywise. Well, yeah, so, I forgot he played the original Pennywise. Yep, Tim Curry did the original Pennywise. Nice. So, I got to, I wanted to make both because, one, it was fun to watch both of the show versions of them in action. E. Did you e. do you have a, like a favorite scare scene that happened in the in the newer it EG? Um, which one? Like, what's which your part? favorite? Oh, I think. Oh shit! The first part always scared the crap out of me. That he just bit off that 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 kid's arm off. Uh huh. For fuck's sake! Uh, that poor was. Georgia. I have a. Yes, when he first attack when he when we first see him. Good God, mm -hmm. I think I got I got like two that really got me good when it came to the fear tactic. It was right during that scene after Georgie got killed, and then, good God, Billy try was seeing him in the basement, and then that whole scene where he started to decrep and fall apart. It was so freaking creepy. And then you see Penny emerging out of the water. And realizing he's oh. using that thing as a puppet, and I'm like, ah, ah, ah. And, what uh, still gets to me up. is that what? What still gets to me is when uh, Beverly is uh, in the sink, and then a bunch of hair strands pull her face in and flood her oh, face with yes. blood. That oh, was so I messed up. Okay, I can handle blood, but not that one. Oh fuck. Yeah, that was just, like, so me. flipping messed up. It reminded me so much of the elevator scene from The Shining. It does, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> and this is coming from... And this is from both... And both... And both titles were uh, were written by Stephen King. Yes. Um, There's a lot of the unusual other... things that Stephen King will write in his books. Yes, mm -hmm. the, that is the truth. Oh Another one that... Oh my god. Another one that was like a good fear factor to me, because I actually got freaked out by it. I was like, Ugh, that's so messed up, man. Aside from the the scene with Beverly, is when you f is when that okay, what was his name? Um, Eddie. He went you when he walked past. trainers never fucking learn. It's with <laughs> it's when that scene where he walks past that decrepit house. Mhm. Mm and then he ended up getting his scare. Involving that terrifying <laughs> mutation of sickness? <laughs> that, that scene creeped me out. Are you okay, Golden? Uh-oh. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Okay. Okay? <coughs> Goodness. <coughs> you okay? Drink some water, dude. <coughs> you okay, Golden? There's a damn tickle in my throat. <coughs> oh no, I hate that. Drink some water. Ugh. I'm coughing so hard my chest hurts. <coughs> Oof. You okay now? You're... You gonna be okay now? Yeah. <coughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, that that scene with the uh, with that dude with the way he took the form of that sickly dude that was scared me the most, actually. It was like, good God, that's so much simply terrifying. Get away! From, get away! Get away! <laughs> <clears throat> Let's. 
<laughs> Are you, do you got some? Do you got a cup of water that you can use? Golden? I've poured myself a cup of uh, water not too long ago. <clears throat> okay, good. <laughs> Drink some Whatever of that. Whatever the fuck help. it is that's in my throat, I want it out of me now. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're not worried and not dealing with mucus problems like I am. God dang. I got him so bad, I had to take a freaking mucus in X. <laughs> Though I have to agree with the with Venomous, that paint, that painting seat, that lady in the painting seat, that was very disturbing. <laughs> oh, that. <clears throat> you okay, Fox? You. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It's just wrong very pipe. annoying. Wrong pipe? Yeah, well, I, it's not so much as a wrong pipe. There was just a tickle in my throat. Oh, yeah, it was like oh, a, it was a tickle. Yeah, and it got I me coughing painting, so uncontrollably hard that like I could feel like the you know, like the soreness in my chest. Yeah. I, I hate getting those. You have no idea. I do too. They're like really annoying. You know, since we're talking about the movie it um Aside from, mm -hmm. you know, the creepy scenes, I also love, you know, the the supposed stand-by-me scenes. Like, there's one moment where all the kids group together and have a rock fight with the bullies. Yes! Oh, that scene. Yeah. I remember and that one. And I love that one of them said, you know, uh, Go blow your dad, you hammerhead! And <laughs> flips them off. Oof! <laughs> I would agree, that was a pretty hardcore scene. I think another one that was one of my personal favorite scenes is when they finally fight Pennywise. Oh, uh, at the very end? Yeah, it, it, and now we gotta oh, kill this God, clown. Welcome that's... to the Losers Club, asshole! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, okay, and especially at the scene when he tried to take the form of Bev's dad. Every time when she stabs him, I laugh. <laughs> It's like the thing that I love about it is that aside from, you know, the scare tactic, because instead of throwing in, you know, jump scare of the jump scare, it's just something right. bizarre and unusual that happens, and it just gets more intensely, like, what the fuck. Yeah. And, and what's more messed up is the fact that he was able to freaking control that one bully who killed his dad. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, like, oh, aside from that, like, there was actually a deleted scene that was not... Oh, a, yeah. He, he also killed his former friends. Yes, I remembered that. I remembered somebody mentioned that. I was like, uh, 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 I, I am I, so many levels of cringe. But, I am so many levels of cringe. But back to what I was saying, um... Aside from the scare tactic that was done so well, I also just, I just, I love the kids. I love their interactions and how they, you know, put up with the, you know, their bullying bullshit and make the best of their summertime. It's, right? Yeah, it's, I, I swear to God, it's like, it's like Stephen King took a lot of inspiration from those movies where it's just a center of kids who are doing, you know, their fun stuff. Dealing with. Go ahead. And basically dealing with stuff like that, like kids who are bullying others. Yeah. Yeah, but I just, it, it's just, it's it was a, it's, it, it was an effective impact on having <laughs> to get invested in the characters. One of which has an anxiety, another one is a Jewish. Yes. <clears throat> and Eddie. One has anxiety. One has one has like a like a stutter, like a stutter issue. Yeah. So it kind of yeah, connects Billy. with all the you know, like these particular child flaws that you're able to connect with. Mm -hmm. One of them is uh, ha is dealing with an abusive father. I still feel bad for her. Oh, season, I I definitely agree with you too on that one. I appreciate that what? they had the kids swear, not obsessively. It's like, yes, ma'am, I'm sure your child is model citizen in front of you, but no, when he's not around his friends, when he's around his friends, he does not have a G-rated mouth. <laughs> yeah, no, because <laughs> they swear like crazy. Oh, that is no denying it. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, yeah, no. Because I, I still love just... Welcome to the Losers Club, asshole! Yeah, that was my favorite line from Richie. Mm-hmm. And now... We gotta kill this fucking clown. Welcome to the Losers Club, asshole! 
that, that like, never gets old. Like the way they uh written the char- uh, the kids characters like uh like it's been a long time since you've seen like children being the main characters of a of a movie, especially when it comes to horror films. Yeah. That's your typical that's your typical eighties nineties uh a horror a horror type of film. So right. so it was your typical eighties nineties film with kids in horror films. Uh, well, not not just horror films, but like in general, like uh, you've always like I've always found like a family type or, or like any type of any type of genre that had kids being the uh, being the main character. Yeah, kind of like yeah. Uh, the, like the movie Stand by Me. That's a good example, and that and I believe that movie was it was done in the eight around the eight. Wait, 80s. wait, wait. Stand by Me is not a horror, is it? Am I? No, it's, no, 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 no. He's it's talking about adventure. like. Like basically, oh, like any movie, movies okay, involving so movies that children are, as the main stars. So like Stand by yeah. Me, The Sandlot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, yes. I love those movies because it's just it's those youth years that, looking back at it, you can never visit again. But it's nice to get that experience again from a movie. Yeah. The, there was yeah, another one. It is like it is so much. Uh, the movie it it is a uh, it is a lot like your typical uh, '80s movie. Well, they had. There was they, another one. They even had it take place in the '80s. That's hilarious. The movie, mm-hmm. like, the story is supposed to take place in the 50s. Oh. Yeah. There was another one, um, that was, like, had, like, a kid as, like, one of the main star focuses. Main, like, they were focusing more on him. The movie was called Little Monsters. Oh, I think I've heard about Little Monsters. God damn it. Howie Mendel played as one of the monster characters. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It, this, it, what was interesting is the whole time they also like pinpointed some things that were like normal struggles when it comes to <clears throat> situations involving families. Like mm-hmm. one of the pro, like leading to one of the points where the kid, this kid's parents were about to divorce. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they actually point on that. And naturally, yes, like any kid, he was naturally sad and upset. Jeez. And when his friend, monster friend overheard the whole thing, he felt bad for him. Wow. So yeah, like, basically, while they act like little pranksters, it shows that the mon- the characters that were the monsters actually did show they were genuine. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Yeah. Right, last one. What does season say? Also, while I'm not a fan of gore, they went balls out of out with the gore on kids, because most films would shy away from it. Like we can't show that they're kids. Either you give us all you got, or go home. Yep, I agree. Season. Yeah, no, like, like I said, that scene that always like creeps me out is when Beverly gets her face like sucked into the sink from all the hair strands and then just blood is splattered all over her face. It's like, ugh, good lord. It's, I agree. That scene was like one of the few most disturbing scenes in the whole in the whole movie. I was like, ah, 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 is that that's too much? That too much? Oh god! It flipped the entire bathroom. Up. Yeah, it's, I felt so bad for her. Well, that's even that's barely touching the surface. She was a fucking like her father was a goddamn like offend like a sex offender and shit. Mm-hmm.